So we were talking about tolerances on this Roy Berra clock. Probably post this separately. Um, but I thought I'd show you just how I've been measuring these things. A couple different ways. I recently got these, um, they're called, I think, spring gauges or plug gauges. Um, and the way they work is um, they have little springs, little springy bits here, and then a little pin that tightens them. So when it gets into a certain diameter that you want to measure, you push them in, and then you can use a micrometer or caliper to, um, to measure them. So or to, to measure the distance. So what you do, let's see if I can get this so you can actually see it. Um, oops. There we go. So what you do is you put them in, say this plug of this lock. Um, and this one is just like on the brink of being the, the right size. And you kind of tighten the, um, the nut down and you kind of rock it around so that you're getting the, um, so that it ends up setting at the maximum or, or minimum diameter rather. Um, and then once you're happy with it, you tighten that down well. Now I've got the inner diameter of the plug set on this little gauge. Okay, and then I have several options um, uh, among them using my, this little uh, micrometer, which we've seen before, this little spring thing. And there's that 5135 I was talking about before. Thank goodness it came out the same. You could also use your calipers if you have a set of calipers. Um, oops. Uh, there we go. Do the same type of thing. Put it in there. You want to make sure you use about the same amount of tension as you did when you uh, measured it. That's coming out 5130. So a little disagreement there. But anyhow. Um, so that was the measurement. Um, now, the thing I wanted to point out is that if I measure this uh, plug across its sort of the main diameter where it's round everywhere, I get that 5055, which is what I had before, 505. If you can see the readout there, 505. If I, however, turn it and measure where the shear line is, which you notice is milled flat a little bit there, I get 5010 or 505, almost exactly 5 or 12.71 mil. Now, if I take this and zero the micrometer, and then rotate to the other place I was measuring. Um, that's another five thousandths or thirteen hundredths of a mil. And then if I add that to the distance that we already had, five thousandths, we had 0 0.0085, that would give us thirteen and a half thousandths. That's over a tenth of an inch. Um, uh, I'm sorry, a hundredth of an inch. It's pretty, quite a actually quite a lot um, and uh, 0015 come on well let's be generous there we go it's 0.29 mil um, so it's that distance I don't know if you can see that on the micrometer on the uh, caliper but that's about the distance we're talking about that doesn't look very big but when you think that the differs on a lock between the pin heights are often on the range of 15 to 20 thousandths. Um, it's basically an entire differ worth of gap in the shear line and that would account for some of the false setting type of behavior that I thought I was seeing as well as just general sloppiness and ease of picking. So anyhow um, these little uh, plug gauges are kind of cool. Um, you probably don't really need one, but if you happen to see some on eBay inexpensively, you know, these were from a set that was belonged to some machinist who was probably long dead. Um, these are Starrett, but a bunch of different brands out there. They're kind of fun to have. Um, they come in a set. That looks like 
it's like this. This one has seen better days, but um, yeah. So you can get all sorts of different dia inner diameters of things. So kind of handy to have on hand if you are doing any kind of precision work. Um, and then you always want to make sure you store them with the nut loosened so that you don't wear out the springs. So anyhow, but I think I got this set for like 20, 25 bucks on eBay, which new, I can't imagine how much it would be, but it is sterile and uh, apparently it belonged to Clem uh, back in the day. So anyway, thank you Clem for uh, providing me with that. And uh, thank you for watching. And uh, as always, have fun and please keep it legal. Cheers.